before we begin step one on the introduction to the project or the overview, I left off after the recipe name or title, you should introduce your recipe, a, a brief introduction, a little background information. Okay, so if you're ready to get going, uh, you can always go back and create the introduction and you can just use some um, filler type, uh, some Lauren Ipsum type for, uh, for the intro until you go back and write it. Okay, so with that said, here is all of my text for my recipe project. So I have the information for the navigation. <clears throat> I'm noting that I have a hero image, a food shot, my title, my rating information, and there's my brief introduction, level, time, yield, ingredients. You get the idea. I have all of the content uh, for the most part, I have all the content available in my text file here. And I also have uh, images when I retrieve them. These are royalty-free images that I'm going to be using. Here are the paths to those images, so I can always go back and get the um, author's information as well as the site URL and also the uh, Creative Commons license which we'll go over in the various steps. So this is all the text that I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to move this out of the way for a moment. And we're going to go to Code Pen. And let's get started by making a new pen. And I'm not going to put the actual rear, uh, rear, real title yet. I'm just going to use um, a version control. So in my version control, I'll go EX4, and I'll list this as step one. So as I go through the exercise, I'm going to save these individual steps so you can see the different pens for the different uh, um, step progressions. That way, there's not just one pen with everything inside. Uh, it'll be easier to break it down and, and go through the sequence. So each step will build on the previous step. Each step will become more inclusive. All right, so let's get started first by what I'm going to do is create my HTML outline. And again, like in previous projects, I look at my content and I might do a sketch and I start thinking about what content is going to go in what element. And I tend to start with the main uh, block level semantic elements and then add other elements from there, maybe some inline elements. But usually I start with the main semantic elements and in some cases we throw in a non-semantic, a generic, like a div. Okay, so with that in mind, I'm going to create the following layout. All right, so I'm going to begin with my nav element, like so. And we're going to follow our nav with a generic block element. I'm going to use a div. And I might move this div around, or I might add other divs for the main um, block out here, depending on how I want to contain the various elements and how I want them to behave. But right now the nav is going to go 100% across the width of the browser. The div is going to potentially start out at 100%, but then I might narrow the div and center the div to have my content um, fit in a more narrow uh, column on the page so it's not the entire width because we don't want the, the width to be too wide because then it's difficult to read the type if the line length of the type is too long. So we're just going to use a generic div and then we're going to add our header like so. And I'll make sure I use header this time and not heading. Okay. 
So we'll drop down and I'll add my headline. So let's use an H1. And we'll drop and we'll create our main content area. And we will nest inside of our main content area a section. Like so. And then I'm going to follow the section with an H2. And let's end our H2. Okay. And now let's return. And I'm going to add two more sections. And just to save a moment here, let's just copy this section. Should have copied the section above, and so we'll copy and paste. I should have copied this section and copied it and then paste. That would have been faster. Let's go ahead and now close our main. So I'm going to go back a couple of spaces. And we have now closed our main element. Let's include a footer, which we'll deal with at the end of the project, the end of the exercise. It's going to be one of the last things we do. Matter of fact, I'll probably make the footer a extra credit um, option. But we're going to still include the footer for right now but it'll be extra credit if you choose to create a footer or populate the footer. Let's go ahead and close our first or our, our initial generic element, our div. And I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay. So there is step one our basic uh, HTML structure, our outline, which I built from looking at my type. And again, sometimes it's a good idea to just, in your sketchbook, or if you're using a sketchbook, or a, just a bunch of paper, whatever, is you doodle out. You draw out what the content is, how it's going to uh, look, okay? as far as the organization. What's going to go what, where and in what order and how are you going to uh, place these elements and uh, this content into the different um, HTML elements. All right, so in the next video, I believe we will begin our navigation bar.